Today, I'm featuring Spencer Aldworth Brown, a freelance photographer that I discovered through Artspan. He's got an awesome about page and I wanna share it with you. Hey, creatives. Welcome back for another 30 second scroll. I'm Jessica Gardner from Arklish, language coach who helps artists and designers describe their work more confidently so they can succeed faster. Today's featured portfolio is freelance photographer Spencer Aldworth Brown. You can find him at spencerbrownphoto.com. And he told me he uses his middle name because I guess there are a lot of other Spencer Browns out there that are messing up his Google search. So something to think about when you're doing your personal branding. I discovered him on the Artspan website when I did a workshop for them last month. They're one of the oldest uh, well-known artist organizations in San Francisco. So if you live in the Bay Area, you should check them out. And just as a reminder, your portfolio has two jobs to do. One is to get you noticed and to get your audience to decide to pay more attention to you. So we're gonna try to recreate that with our 30 second scroll today. I'm gonna set the timer and we're gonna take a quick look at Spencer's site to see what stands out. Here we go, 30 seconds. Can't even get through them all because he has so many fantastic photos, but you can check them out uh, when you have a minute. I want to focus, however, on his about page today because the first time I came to his site, this about page made me laugh out loud. It is so great and I want to share a little bit with you about why I think so. Because a lot of my clients start their about page in a similar way. They say, you know, I've always been creative or I was creative ever since I was a kid or I've always been really into art and design, and that's great, it's a really good way to connect with your audience, because a lot of us feel that way. But you have to be careful because you don't wanna come off sounding too gener uh, general and cliche. But if you do it the way Spencer has done it, it, it can be really awesome because he's made it so specific. He's really created a look back at a moment in time, a specific time when he got his first camera. So not only does he have this great picture of a kid running around having an awesome time with his new toy, but then he's got the language. This was that day. It just cracked me up because it really captures that feeling and that joy in the moment. And then um, he kind of uses that storytelling approach in the rest of the paragraph by you know taking that moment and then connecting it to the present by saying you know he's been working in the field his entire adult life and now he lives on the beach in San Francisco with his wife Stephanie. So I go from that specific moment to now and I'm automatically curious, I wanna know a little more. So I scroll down and I look at the bio and I see that he talks about all the assignments he's done, how he got started, his fine art career, one of his biggest projects, and then he's talking about a class that he teaches and that he's a member of Artspan and a little bit about uh, what he likes to do in his free time. And then we've got this nice photo kind of showing what he looks like now. So I feel like I know who I'm reading about. So it's a nice touch. And like I said, that storytelling element definitely draws me in to read more. And that's exactly what you want to do. So the third thing that I think is great about his site is that it really is easy to connect because I know I certainly remember what it's like to, to try out a new medium, that excitement of, you know, when you get a new camera or maybe you try a new form of painting for the first time or maybe you do your first metal pour and it's just so thrilling. And so that's a great way to connect with your audience because we've all had some kind of an experience like that and he just captures it so perfectly here. So that on top of the other personal details he shares helps me feel like I'm getting to know him and that's exactly what you want to do. That's what the second job is about. So after his bio, he's got this nice graphic with all of his clients. And then he finishes up with his book and Instagram account. So the whole point of uh, drawing your audience in and trying to help them get to know you is to get them to increase 
the level of relationship. So job two is to get them to take the next step, whether it's following him on Instagram, which I am doing and it's great, or you know maybe someone wants to take that class or maybe somebody wants to buy his book or you know whatever it is. So that's job number two. Get your audience to read more, learn more, become curious, and then hopefully take it to the next level. So great job, Spencer. I think he succeeds on both job one and job two. That is all the time we have for his site today, but uh, I encourage you to go check it out in your free time. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching somewhere else, I'd love it if you leave a comment because I'd like to know what stood out for you or what thoughts you have about Spencer's site. Just make sure your feedback is kind and constructive. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. You can reach me at jessica at arklish.com, either about this video or about portfolio writing in general. And you can also join my mailing list for pre -por free portfolio writing tips at arklish.com. Thanks again, Spencer Aldworth Brown. If you want to see the rest of his beautiful photos, just head over to spencerbrownphoto.com for more inspiration. I'm going to put all these links in the notes for you, and I'll see you next week for another 30-second scroll.